In this tutorial, we will learn how to print your songs and sets using OnSong. We'll also cover some new printing enhancements that were added in OnSong 1.99. Let's get started. First, all you need to do is view the song or set you want to print. Here I'm picking a set with some songs in it. Tap on the share icon and then print. You'll see the set appears in the preview area ready to print the chord charts. You could use the font slider at the bottom to shrink the songs to better fit on pages for less printing. OnSong prints what you have selected. For instance, if you select a single song from the All Songs tab, you will print one song. If you select a set, then all the songs in that set will be printed. We'll see how to change this shortly. To print, you can simply tap on the print button in the upper right corner. OnSong uses AirPrint to wirelessly print documents to an AirPrint compatible printer. If you need to find what printers support AirPrint, or if you need help connecting, please visit onsongapp.com slash AirPrint. Once your printer is connected, it shows up in the print menu. Set the number of copies you want and print. It's that easy. You may want to customize how OnSong prints. To do this, tap on the ruler icon in the lower right to change printing parameters. The Output Options tab lets you determine what is printed on the page. The Print section shows that we are currently printing the entire set. We can also print the currently viewed song. If we really want to waste paper, we can even choose to print the currently selected book. Be warned that if you don't have a book selected, your entire library will be printed. Luckily, if we select this option, we do receive a warning since it could take some time for OnSong to generate the printout. The Output Options section lets you alter how chord charts print. For instance, we could choose to only output lyrics or to output the song in its original key. At the bottom of this tab, we have the Extras section. This lets us determine how to print in the footer. We can optionally print the page number, song title, and artist. OnSong uses the paper size, orientation, and margins from OnSong's settings screen. Typically this is set to US letter with 3 quarter inch margins. You can override these preferences in the Page Layout tab without affecting how your chord charts are displayed on your device. Here you can choose the paper orientation and size as well as margins for the output. Remember that if you set the margins too small, your printer may cut off the output. But what if we want to share songs with the band or back a house and use as little paper as possible? The best way would be if we could print more than one page on one sheet of paper. Enter multi-page. Choose the multi-page tab on the right. Here you can determine what size grid you'd like. Pick from 2 up, 4 up, 8 up, or even 16 up to place pages on the paper. There, we've outputted four pages on every sheet of paper. Notice that the paper orientation is automatically determined to fit the pages. We can adjust the margins on the physical paper to get the most out of the size and even place space called a gutter between the pages if desired. Another way to output your set or books is in the form of a song list. Tap on the song list button on the lower left. This toggles the print mode to song list. Here we see each of the songs in our set as an item in the list. We can customize what gets printed by tapping on the ruler icon on the right and opening the output options tab. Here we can choose to print the entire selected book, in this case, all songs. There, now I have a list of all the songs in my book. We can also come down to the Extras section and toggle different columns on and off to get just the information we want. Let's tap on the Page Layout tab to adjust how the page is printed. We switch to Landscape Orientation on legal paper with narrower margins so we can fit in as much information as possible. This is a great way to share information with your team if you don't have iPads for everyone. Sometimes printing isn't what you need, or you don't have a printer and need to email or export the printed file. In OnSong 1.99, we've added the ability to export and email the printed page as PDF. To do this, tap on the Share Menu button to the left of the Print button. This will display an Activity menu. From here, you could choose to send the PDF version of the printout to different apps such as Mail and Messages. You can also copy, print, and export. Let's choose Export. Now, we can pick to save the PDF either to iTunes File Sharing or to Dropbox. Pick a folder in Dropbox 
and tap export. The PDF is now saved in that location. I hope that gives you some idea of the printing capabilities of Onsong. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at support at onsongapp.com. Thanks for watching.